how to beat John Jones in a street fight. This is a new blueprint into beating John Jones, and I believe I have the answers for that. So if you if you're looking to know how to beat John Jones, if he's coming at you in a street fight, then this is the video for you. So things you need to be aware of going into this street fight. Um, so this is John Jones looking mean as fuck. You've just bumped into him in the street. He's wanting fight. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So first of, first of all, we need to assess the situation. If you're going to stand your ground with John Jones, uh, we need to know the strengths and the weaknesses to beating the guy. So John Jones' most fatal and dangerous weapon is his ability to eye poke you with an 84 and a half inch reach. This will leave you devastated and vulnerable like a wounded animal at the side of the road. And you don't want to be vulnerable around a guy like John Jones, especially after finding out everything that MMA guru has told us recently. Get gay! It's going gay! It's right in front of us the whole time! Um, a position no man wants to be in around a man like John Jones. So, what is his second strength? His second strength would be green strikes. Groin strikes. Now, this has an old new meaning. We throughout John Jones's career, there's been plenty of groin strikes. However, now are we are they groin strikes or is it harassment? That is the question. Is it is it groin strikes or is it harassment? Is it an illegal move in MMA or is this John, John Jones just acting out his inner feelings? By the way, Mike, I saw his hand slipping over to you. What was, uh, was like, trying to do? Andy, what's going on? <laughs> And moving on to the third strength, which is thumb to the throat. Now, is this just a way to simulate gagging and choking? We first saw John Jones use this against the Shogun in the Shogun fight. Uh, thumb to the throat. Again, looking for that right arm. Keep that thumb out of his throat. Stop it. Get some help. And not many people use this technique which is quite quite an odd one to use in MMA, a thumb to the throat. And I can only imagine it's a way to simulate that, you know, that choking and gagging thing. Uh, if you if you catch my drift, if you catch what I'm on about here. Here's an AI image of John Jones's thumb being used after a fight and wrapped up in some kind of weird bandage. So what are John Jones's weaknesses going into a street fight? The first one is buttholes, buttholes. Recently, he was found echoing a comedian and talking about how much he wanted to finger buttholes. Very important, yeah, you're never talking about finger in your balls? Finger in the butthole. Oh, you know, finger in the butthole. A whole hole. black finger in the butthole. Is that how they do it? Explicit, weird, what? No one asked. Why are you gay? And um, so I can imagine this would be one of his weaknesses. If you presented John Jones with a butthole, would he get distracted enough to want to finger it? Possibly. I think that's a weakness. That's a weakness on the side of John Jones. Moving on to the second weakness, which is men in uniform. For example, the police. John Jones has been in trouble with the police numerous occasions throughout his life. You are under arrest. You are in handcuffs. I'm going to read you your rights real quick. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I got the Hall of Fame tonight. And then you're going to put me on this by walking down the street. Okay. Go ahead and get the registration insurance out of there for me, Jonathan. Absolutely. Man, you're just harassing me, man. I'm just asking you a simple question, My Jonathan. My car is well because it's a sports car. Okay. Sit tight. I'll be with you in a minute. Stop the cap. Getting elected into the Hall of Fame, and now this is what I got. Do you understand these rights as I've explained them to you? Yes, sir. Okay. And now, since the Guru video, it takes a whole new meaning. Especially when he was out perusing for homeless people. Um, he's been caught drag racing. He was being involved in hit and runs, um, weapons charges, etc., etc. The the list goes on and on. And is he just looking for that man in uniform? Or it, it, you know, it takes a whole new meaning. This does. And then we move on to the third weakness, which is women. Um, on plenty of occasions, we've heard allegedly uh, John Jones involved in domestic abuse cases and guru pointed out a point in his video that is this part of why he gets angry you know because he's he's closeted and he gets in a rage because he can't get up is that is that the reason why and is it because of the woman anyway this leads us to the blueprint on how to beat john jones in a street fight and 
So to beat John Jones, we need to use his weaknesses against him. And the first one would be bringing in Nina Drama. She's flirty. She would rile him up. We know that he's a deeply closeted gay man. So this would en enrage him, put him in a rage. This is not a good time to fight John Jones. This isn't the, this. This is just the first step. You put him in the rage, the rage zone. If you fought him now, you'd get your head kicked in. So you, you need to proceed to step two. Um, this would be John Jones in the in that rage, absolutely fuming, ready to ready to kill in battle mode. Uh, you don't want to be in front of John Jones at this point. He, he would he would absolutely maul you, absolutely maul you. He'd go to his strengths, green strikes, eye pokes, and you know it's not a good way. The thumb to the throat would be the end for you. So we we don't we don't want to finish it there. So you move on to step two of the of the blueprint, and that would be. To bring in Tito Ortiz. The Tito Ortiz distraction. And that is flashing a picture of Tito Ortiz in his sheriff's uniform. He has been recently made a sheriff. God help us all. This is your top trump card. Uh, this is the picture that you need on your phone. If you're ever to run into John Jones in a street fight. You flash this picture. You flash the picture of Tito Ortiz in a sheriff's uniform. This would distract John Jones, it would get him stuck in his ways. He'd be gawping. He'd be, he'd start it like he'd, drooling. Everything would be happening at this point. All his feelings would be coming out. Um, and this, this is that. This is John Jones. He's starting to, he's starting to get turned on. And that's when we move into step three. Step three is crucial in sealing this because if you if you leave it at the Tito Ortiz distraction, then he'll wake from his paralyzation and he'll destroy you. So we need to, it's key that we move on to step three as soon as we get that distraction. So we bring out the Derek Lewis butthole. The Derek Lewis butthole will be the final nail in the coffin for John Jones. We know his penchants for buttholes right now. So we'd bring out the butthole, Derek Lewis's butthole, and this would leave John Jones in just a, a, an absolute emotional wreck. He doesn't know what to do with himself. We, we, we've taken him on a roller coaster of emotions, and then we bring out the, the, the Derek Lewis butthole. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. This is your opening. This is your window for attack. So sledgehammer to the liver. That is the way to go. Liver shot. And that brings John Jones down to the floor, absolutely gasping. You can't get back up and we've won the fight. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.